I'm Monsignor Harry Antwistle, the ordinary of the ordinariate of Our Lady of the Southern Cross. Talking of crosses, we see crosses on our foreheads on Ash Wednesday. We see them on fruit buns, by the side of roads, on church buildings, jacket lapels, and on jewellery. But we also see them destroyed in graveyards and in war-torn countries, and banned from the public arena and workplace in the name of political correctness and inclusivity. Yet in 2016, some 90,000 people were slaughtered because they would not abandon their faith that the cross symbolises. The very first Christians would not understand how the Western world is able to treat the cross as an empty symbol. They worshipped the God who they believed had revealed himself as a human and who suffered the most brutal, shameful, sadistic death of crucifixion. To be faithful to a leader whose death was shameful meant owning the shame. Early Christians were ridiculed and persecuted for this, and so it was the fish, not the cross, that became the public symbol of their faith. It was after the conversion of the Emperor Constantine to Christianity that the Church began to understand that the cross was not the place that shame overcame Jesus, but where the evil of shame was overcome by Jesus. The Epistle to the Hebrews encourages believers not to lose heart because Jesus endured the cross, despising the shame, and is now seated in glory at God's right hand. Jesus transformed the shame of the cross through showing that here, in the most brutal way possible, God suffers with us, because of us, and on behalf of us so that in recognizing that love, we can respond by worshiping him within the church community and by living our lives in the way that Jesus showed us. Jesus being raised to glory on Easter day is our assurance that if we follow his path, we will never be separated from God in this world and the next. I encourage, even urge, all Christians to revere, wear, and display the cross with pride, not as an empty symbol, but as a positive witness to the faith we not only believe, but which symbolizes our way of life as servants of God and others. Christianity is the most persecuted religion in the world at this time. So lift the cross high, because its shame has become the door to the salvation of us all. And so I wish you a very prayerful Holy Week and a holy and blessed Easter.